Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and today we're looking at uh, how to complete our pre-unit assessment for our new unit number seven that's going to be covering the topic of natural selection. So a few things, everyone remember that these, this pre-unit assessment is all about seeing what we know and don't know about this upcoming unit and kind of seeing what sort of things we're going to be learning about and skills we're going to need to, uh, to have to be successful in this unit. On top of looking at those things, we're also going to be looking at um, what I can do to make sure that I hit on the things that maybe we don't know a lot on and make sure that we don't spend a lot of time covering the things you do. So we're going to obviously focus on that as we go through this. And then we're going to also look at how to complete it and the resources available to you so you can kind of go through and problem solve through each of the different questions uh, that you're going to see. So on the page itself, you're seeing there's going to be three tabs. One's going to be the multiple choice questions. And then we have written response number one, written response number two. So these are the three tabs that you're going to need to kind of navigate through. So when you start here, you're going to be taken to the multiple choice section. You're going to see some diagrams, some information there. And then you're going to see the question um, along with uh, your options. And then up here, you're going to see a uh, play button that will actually read not only the question to you, but also um, the uh, selections for A, B, C, and D. So remember, as you're answering each of these questions, you're going to need to use whatever information they provide to help you answer this question and kind of problem solve which of these you feel best answers this question. Now, if you notice at the very bottom, we have some numbers here. Those represent the number of multiple choice questions that you're going to be completing. If you pick an answer, whatever it may be, A, B, C, or D, you can save and continue so that you don't lose your progress. And you can do one of two things. You can obviously hit the save and continue and it'll take you to the next page. Or you can click the number two, whatever works best for you. So let's say you answer number one, you get to number two, you read through the information here. If you press play, again, it will read for you. Let's say you read through the question and the answer, and maybe you're not quite sure what to answer. Well, you can always click on number three or click the next button, and you can come back to this one as well, okay? Um, I recommend doing your best on each one and not skipping any questions simply because, remember, our goal is to see what we know and don't know and do your best to problem solve through all of it. Once you have completed all 18 questions and used all of your resources to complete this, you'll hit the hand in button and that will complete obviously the first activity, which is the multiple choice questions. The next two written response questions, same idea. Uh, it's going to look very, very similar. You'll have the play button with the question and the diagrams, the play button with some little with some more questions and diagrams, and then you'll obviously answer here in the bottom. You'll hit the hand in section when you're done. And then you'll move on to the third one, and that will be the final question that you have to answer. So really, it's just 20 questions, using the diagrams, using the information to answer the questions, and doing your best um, to answer them with as much detail as you feel you need. Make sure you hand in all the sections, and that's how you complete the pre-unit assessment. If you have questions, reach out to me. Otherwise, good luck.